Hey everybody, real quick before we jump into the deck profile, we're gonna talk about 50 Cards. 50 Cards is an online website where you can pick up Nation Splits, which is my personal favorite for updating decks, just to be able to get full play sets of everything you need for a specific nation, meaning you can update your decks way easier than trying to have to pick up singles off the secondary market. So be sure to check out 50 Cards, get those singles, deck boxes, sleeves, whatever you need, they have available at 50 Cards as well and you can get an additional 5% off when you use code Nexus. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the deck profile. All right, everyone, going right into the Luar deck profile. Got my deck right here. We're gonna go ahead and start with the ride line like we typically do, and then we'll go into the main deck and G-Zone afterwards. So starting off, we got Root, which is the starter that came in the premium deck set. So it lets you draw a card if you want second. Then we have Knees. Knees is if you ride on top of Root, you get your Crest. So you wanna do that so you can get a Crest and draw a card. Your Crest is this. So it allows uh, you to perform Stride and then also your it becomes a 13K base unit. You get 5K for each face-up card in your G zone. And then if you performed Stride without paying the cost, which is, you know, Luard's skill, you're allowed to put a crit from your drop zone to the bottom of your deck. So you're able to refuel crits, which is really nice. So put that over there for now. Then we got Leofail. Leofail's skill is when this unit is rode upon, you're able to Soul Blast one to draw a card and then if, you, if this unit is in the drop zone, you can discard a card from your hand to call to rear when a grade four with Luard and his name is placed on your Vanguard circle, which all your G units are. So this allows you to sacrifice it so you can call two cards from your deck with Luard's stride skill, which is really helpful. Then we got our one copy of Luard, Dragheart Luard, the OG one. So this is the same one from the trial deck way back when. Ritual three at the beginning of your ride phase puts two normal units to the bottom of your deck. You can perform stride without paying the cost. Stride skills when your G unit strides, you can bust one, retire a rear guard, search your deck for two grade ones or less and call them to the rear guard circle and then shuffle your deck. So pulls out two grade ones from your deck and it's kind of filtering and you know, you're putting two normal units back into your deck so you can clearly pick any of the two targets you want if you need to. So really, really good resource management with Luard. So like the deck a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and put these off to the side so we can go ahead and get into the main deck. So starting off with grade threes, I am only running one copy of the Luard in the main deck just because you only need it for the discard cost for Drag Strider and you're able to grab it from your deck or drop zone with Abyssal Owl. So the one copy is working fine for me. Three copies of Solemn Clout because it is a really, really good beat stick. So what Solemn Clout does is if you're in Ritual 3 during your turn that gets 10k, and then also if you happen to discard it for the cost of stride, you get to draw a card, which is nice. But it's mostly there because it's a unit with a Ritual ability, it gets 10k power, so you're able to search it with Morphessa or Drag Driver. So we're running three copies of this because it's a really, really good beat stick. Then we are running for Grade 2s, we're just going right into Grade 2s right now. We got four, Morphessa. Morphessa's skill is when this is in the drop zone, it counts as a Grade 1, which helps with Ritual. And then when this unit attacks, if you have a Luard Crest, this gets 5k. And then if you have two cards face up in your G zone, you can kind of blast one, search your deck for up to one unit with the ritual ability, different from this name, call it to rear. So you can actually search out Song Clout or any other grade one you're looking for, call it to rear, which is nice. So I do like that Morphessa can help with multi-attacking during the battle phase while you're getting all that power to your front row anyways. So Morphessa is a really good card for that. Then I'm running the Teeth Fail engine, which goes really good with the Wisdom order. So what Teeth Fail does is when it's placed on Rearguard Circle, other than by a card ability, if, it, if you played a normal order this turn, you can Soul Blast one, look at the top five, call a card grade less than or equal to your Vanguard. If you happen to call a normal order, you can add it to your hand instead, and then you shuffle your deck. But the second skill is also really good. It's when this unit attacks a grade three or greater Vanguard, if you have four or more units, it gets 10K. Since your front row is getting really big over time, a 20k beater can be 30, 35, bigger. So this is just a really good beat stick card anyways, but it's really good during the grade two turn when you play with the order to just fill your board. So teeth fill is good. Two copies of Turnor for counter charge. So what this does is at the end of the battle, this attack while boosted. If you have three face down cards in your damage zone, you can put this into your soul and counter charge. So fuel soul helps you get counter blast back. Uh, I do like this card a lot because you do counter blast quite a bit, quite a bit with this deck. So. This is a very helpful card to help you get some resources back. I am running the one copy of Maple. Maple is just a really good substitution for Leofail because it's basically the same thing for free. So once in the drop zone, when your grade three or greater Vanguard is placed during the ride phase, if you do not have another Maple on your board, you call it to rear. So this also works for when your G unit strides, so you're able to call it either way. So even if you did not ride that turn, the moment you stride, 
you can call this a maple to regrowth circle and then perform the stride skill to retire maple and call two grade ones out of your deck. So I do like that maple gives you that access for free. Then lastly for grade twos, I'm running four copies of Wisdom of the Wisdom of Beginning that cleared the world. This is a really good turn two card. Play this with kind of lost one, draw two cards, choose two cards in your hand and call them to rear that are grade less than or equal to your Vanguard and you discard them if not. So this is still really good because you can draw two. If you have T-Fill in hand, you call it and then T-Fill helps you Soul Blast to call more cards. So you're getting hand, you're getting a board. This is just a really good card overall. And then if you're kind of not really ready to use this card late game, you can you know use it for discard fodder or PG fodder. So, but this is just a really good card uh, early game. Obviously, as you know, time goes on, you might want to drop this down to two, to three or two, but for now, I feel like I have the space, so I'm running it at four. Going into grade ones, we're running for Abyssal Owl. Abyssal is what helps you find Luard. So what it does is fits in your hand and you have Luard Crest, you discard it, grab a Luard from your dropper deck, put it in your hand. Uh, drop Zone, Ritual Three. At the end of your turn, if you have a Vanguard Luard and you can choose two copies of Abyssal Owl, bind them and you counter charge one. So it is nice that you're able to pick two copies of Abyssal to help you set up for next turn. So you have counter blast, so you're not kind of stuck if your opponent damage denies you. So Abyssal Owl is still good for counter, counter charge in that scenario. Two copies of Jaguar is Semius. Semius allows you to kind of create a little bit of a board. So it gets 2K. And then also when it's placed on rear during the main phase or anywhere, that's not, not the battle phase basically. So ride phase or main phase. Look at the top two cards of your deck. Choose up to one card from among them called to rear, put the rest in the bottom of your deck. At the end of your turn, that unit would go to the drop zone if it was called by that this effect. So just keep that in mind. This is really good for the drag strider turn, uh, but it's just good in general just to kind of filter your deck and pull out some normal units as you're going. Two copies of Luminosity Wizard. I was running this at one, but this card's actually pretty good. So I'm running it at two. Ritual three, when it's placed on rear, it gets 10K. So boom, 18K beater or booster. When this is retired from rear during your turn, if you have a Luard Crest, you can soul charge one. Have your Vanguard get 5k. So I, what I like about this card is you can swing with it. Then you call something over it. Since it was retired, you can Soul Charge, give your Vanguard five. And then now you have Soul to play around with after you swung with this. It's also a really good booster for Drag Strider just to add an extra, you know, 18k boost to that big old turn, big old Vanguard turn. So this is a really good card. And in case I want to be able to search it out, you know, uh, just instead of using the one copy, you have multiple. So lastly for grade one, since this deck is pretty toolboxy, we're able to just kind of pull grade ones out of the deck. I am running just one copy of Tolpaz. Tolpaz is really good for shield. So what Tolpaz does is you place it on rear or guard circle, depending on the effect. If you place it on the guard circle, two cards from in your drop zone that were in your ride deck, put them back into the ride deck face down, this gets 15 shield. If you play it during the main phase, you can look at the top five, look for a card from among them and call it to rear. So if you really need to do that, you can do that as well. But I do like it a lot for the 20K shield. It's pretty good. One copy of Painkiller. Painkiller is really good because you can call it out early with Luar during the stride turn. And then at the end of the battle, it boosts. You soul bless one, retire it, draw a card. Uh, you do go through soul pretty quickly in this deck. So I feel like multiple copies of painkiller is kind of meh. And I feel like you can just recycle painkillers after it dies if you really need another painkiller with, you know, Lord's skill to return cards to the deck. So I like the one copy of painkiller as it is because it works for me. Then I got one copy of Parius. Parius is a really good card as a tech because what it does is it turns into a PG. When your Vanguard is attacked, if it's the fifth battle of that turn or more, you can bind this unit from the rear guard circle, choose one of your units and it cannot be hit until the end of battle. So that's, you know, you kind of search it, put it in your board, set up for it, and you're good. If you want, you could probably drop some other stuff to add another copy of this if you want multiple PGs, but you know, this is fine for now as the one for me. Speaking of PGs, we're running three copies of Ezris because it's a Shadow Paladin PG. And then I got my one Elementary Synctitude because everyone needs it. Then going to triggers, we got Aedas Faro as our trigger. This is just better than our Martinoa because it gives your Vanguard a crit and it's really good for the Drag Strider turn and it lets you return cards from your drop zone back to your hand. So who doesn't love free PGs? It's nice. So I like Aedas Faro. That's just the go-to trigger. Then we're running eight crits. So we got our Blade Feather, which helps fuel soul if you need to. And I'm running the crit that came in the Youth Burke trial deck because look at that artwork. Tell me that's not Shadow Pallet encoded. So eight crit because the deck likes to return crits into the deck. Three Pro B draw triggers. It's the draw trigger where it gets 5K shield when you guard with it. So I do like it and I like draw triggers. So, and this deck does really well with the recycling card. So I'm not too worried about deck out. So I think the draw triggers work fine for this deck. So going with a three draw. Then lastly, I'm running for heal. I decided to go with the Invigorate Sage only because of Shiranui. Shiranui Bastion, there's a bunch of really good cards that 
re-stand rear guards with card effects. So what this does is when it guards, if the unit that's attacking has attacked two or more times, this gets 15 shield. So this is really good because obviously Shear New is all about re-standing rear guards to swing. So this helps in that scenario. It's a big old 25K shield. But if you do not like Invigorate Sage and if your locals is not overflooded with Shear New players, you can just run Vanillas, that's fine. So that's it for the main deck. We're just gonna go right into the G zone. Starting off, we got our four copies of Drag Driver Luard. So what Drag Driver does is when you attack with it, you turn a card in your G zone face up and count boss one, search your deck for any card with the ritual ability called to rear. Super simple. Your search targets are probably gonna be like pretty much either Song Clout or Morfessa. So these are pretty much like your go-to targets for the Luard turn, depending on how much counter blast you have, but you just want some big beat sticks and multi-attacking, can't go wrong with that. And then lastly, we have our four copies of Drag Strider Luard. So what Drag Strider Luard does is Ritual 7 when this unit attacks hits, if you have five or more units with the Ritual ability. Till the end of battle, this gets 10k and a crit, and then you can retire two rear guards and discard a Luard from your hand to give it Drive plus one, and your opponent cannot call Grade 1 or Greater cards to the Guardian Circle. So they can't call Perfect Guards, but they can still Elementaria, so keep that in mind. But Quad Drive with 10k and a crit in a deck that recycles crits is really good, so you might be able to cheese your way out of some wins with this card. One fun thing to keep in mind is that the stride step, the cost to stride into us does say normally that you would discard a Luard in order to stride this, but because, you know, your heart gets around that with its main skill to just perform stride for free, you don't really have to worry about that at all. You can still stride into Drag Strider with Luard's skill. So you just need to keep Luard in your hand for the discard. That's the only thing you need to worry about. But that's pretty much it for the deck profile. Thank you guys for watching. If you got any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.